nothing ain't changed yet. What in the world, so? In the evening, you know what I want. From my car. Just the pantry, just pantry in. There's just no way. Raised duck, raised duck. Yo, yo, what is going on? Okay, so. So many things going on right now. So many things going on. So I got up today at. 4 30 which was really really great because i got a lot done so i got to at 4 30 i worked out i was tired but i did it anyway and i'm just so grateful i have to honor my needs and do what i say i'm gonna do that's number one and because i got up early it was so great i was able to do some work do my devotional obviously and then be sitting here in the studio to receive nini when he wakes up i like that better than <sighs> so he came in here, we, I cuddled with him a little bit. I had the space heater on to keep us extra warm because the house was okay, but we like to be really, 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 really warm. So we cuddled and everything. And then I got him ready. And then I took him to school, came back, showered, and I was ready to start my day at nine o'clock. That's insane. I have not had that lineup of my morning in a very long time. I used to delay filming because I film here in the studio and the sun shines this direction. So it messes me up for several hours. So I can't film normally in this studio unless it's a rainy day. I can't film until sometimes 11, 12. And that I realized is not a good timeline for me anymore. So as you see, I started filming in the... So as you see, I started filming in the living room and because the sun shines this way when i film in the living room it does it's not much of a problem so i can start filming there earlier so then i started filming at 10 which was great because i filmed this look and i'm doing a wear test and i'm already done it's one o'clock so i have a meeting right now that i'm about to listen in on but i just am so grateful because this is huge oh man it's too much going on right now yo all right so I had a therapy session this morning. I was supposed to work out. I didn't get to do it, and that's fine. I washed my hair, slicked it back, as you can see. I love the slicked back look on me. It just goes with certain outfits, and what I have on, it just goes, right? And now I'm headed to lunch with my friend Kim. I'm a little under the weather. <laughs> a little cold situation, you feel what I'm saying? But I'm excited. Listen, we're going to the same old, same old place, Bella Green and City Center, because it is just that good. And the piece that I bought from BMW is there. So I'm going to pick that up on the way back. My car's dirty. I wanted to get a car wash and a vacuum, but with that piece gone, I don't think it's safe to wash my car. I might mess, thing, mess the wires up because you can see wires and stuff. It's just a problem. So that's what's going on right now. We're going to have lunch at Bella Green in City Center. That food is so good. That salad. My mom said it was salty, but she old, okay? So you can't be listening to old folks too much. <laughs> she said it was salty. The blackened is blackened. They use blackened seasoning. It is so good to my soul. I don't care. It is so good. So I'm about to go do that. <laughs> Yeah, when you want to be cute and it's cold, forget it. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, my eyes are watering. Paying for my parking right now. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Thank you. Oh my god, it's packed in here. It is so packed in here. Wow. Nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, baby. had this car for how long and I just now stumbled upon CarPlay. I never knew what CarPlay was so comment below and let me know if you use CarPlay. I kept seeing it and I just didn't understand what it was, what it did and why it was important and why it was nice and for some reason my, I'm trying to pair my new phone. Speaking of where is it? I'm trying to pair my new phone, my iPhone 13. It's taking forever. I have stock. 
I don't have iCloud back up on automatically. I don't know why. And I had to back up all my stuff. And it was just taking me forever and I was getting so confused. So I'm trying to pair it to, you put the phones together and then it does something, it sinks, right? And it's been taking, it's been taking hours and it, it didn't finish. So I don't know if it did something to my phone. Oh, you're not moving? Is this car moving? Well, why, why aren't your hazard lights on? Your right turn light is on. Should, shouldn't your hazard lights be on instead? What is that? So I am trying to pair the phone. I don't know. It must have done something because my car was not hooked up to my phone. So I disconnected and then reconnected my phone to my car. And all of a sudden, I see CarPlay. I'm like, what is this? So I accepted it. And now I can see stuff on the dash that I didn't, or the monitor that I display, that I didn't see before. I'm like, wait, what? I can respond to text messages via voice. I can see my calendar, I can see my map. So the map I used to see on the phone, I can see on the monitor. I'm like, wait, hold on. We can do a little something different. Doing something a little different now. I like to see it. So I'm enjoying that. I didn't know, I didn't know what that meant. I thought CarPlay was a subscription. I thought I needed to pay for something and I was gonna pay for something. I don't even know what it would have been that I would have paid for. I don't know what's going on. My ears are blocked. I, uh oh, let me get over now. Oh, hi, 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 hi. I'm one of those, I'm gonna merge last minute people. We, we wave to say that because I feel like it's so rude when someone comes in front of my car and doesn't at least try to do this. I'm, I am tinted, but I wanna take my attempt, make an attempt to let you know that I'm appreciating the pass you gave me. It's so rude to me when people cross over into in front of my car and don't even make an attempt you your your window is not even your windows not even tinted the least you could do is raise your hand to say you know raise your hand duck down you got to do both there's not just one raise duck raise duck let's do it try practice together thank you at least do that look not look like i'm a little like, like i'm a psycho at least do that to show appreciation for the fact that i let you go in front of me because i have been and can still be that person who when you are making an attempt to go in front of me i speed up a little bit just a little bit you know you kind of go like hey, i'm gonna i'm not gonna take peekaboo you know i'm not gonna let you go because sometimes i just don't want to sometimes I, I just don't want to allow you to go in front of my car but that sweet lady bless her heart she did allow me so we give God all the glory. I, yeah, I'm headed to BMW right now. You see what I'm saying? To go pick up my car part. Let them put it on for the kid. And then, what time is it? And see, I'm early. I want to get some Starbucks. I'm cold. I'm going to go early though. I'm not going to go home first because I don't need. Well, actually, that's what I'll do. I'm going to go to BMW, get the car part go to the post office, get my car wash, get gas. And by that time, I will be at a good time to get me because I might as well do things that need to be done before I go get him. It's cold outside. I was trying to be cute with this two-piece crop top situation. You know, crop down, chrome spinning, top down, chrome spinning. And <laughs> it's brick out here in these streets. You feel what I'm saying? And I really do want to be sleeping, but it's Friday and we move. I was filming this morning. I had therapy, like I said. I'm always filming. I'm always filming something. Them turkey fools that stole my freaking... Oh my God, it's such a Wait, random thing. Wasn't that a parking lot? That was a parking lot that was paid for, no? It was a parking lot. So it's like, really, y'all up in the parking lot taking... I, like I, like yeah, I, it had to be that. Let me have paper part, please. Oh, okay. Okay. Now leaving BMW, they just popped my new piece on. Yo, this definitely happened at Turkey Like Hot. This is nothing about the... This is not a dig to the actual establishment, but it definitely happened the time that we went to the third ward. Because only in the hood would a piece of my car be stolen from my car. In my normal day-to-day -day going about, this has never happened to me. And why would it ever in my normal day-to-day, -day, the places that I go to normally day-to-day, -day, going to third ward, that I don't ever go. We went one time during the day, but this time we went and we were there till the evening. My God, today, lesson learned. What does this mean? 
don't bring a luxury car to the hood like what does this mean folks out here just staking people out like you freaking stole a piece of the rear view uh side side view mirror wow i guess i understand why it was stolen because it cost 350 dollars my god today and the guy's like wow they popped it clean off because nothing was shattered shattered on the inside now you might be thinking well how you know it was there it was there girl it was there because where else is it gonna be yo what up okay so how about today's <laughs> i have not gotten done today what i need to get done i've gotten done a few things but certainly not everything so today i worked out praise god i did 30 minutes of the 45 minute workout because I had to hop off of that and hop onto a call with a brand that I was really excited about and I still am excited about. So that's a good thing. And then I knew I wanted to do my makeup because I believe I told you that I want to get dressed for work most days. And also with that, it's why not film a video? So I filmed a video, what you check out, get ready with me in my bathroom. But it just, it just took me so long to get through all of this. There's just so much to do in a day. You know, there are emails, there's house stuff. There's just things and things and things. It's just, it's hard to pinpoint everything. It's just things. It's just like stuff, you know? And so I showered and all that, right? And <laughs> I have more things that I need to do, but it's, gonna i'm gonna have to do it at any soccer practice i think because i don't have time it's almost three and i have to go get him from school so i have to do that at his soccer practice so i'm bringing my computer yes let me unplug this and put it in my car i have not eaten all day have not eaten all day i do have my candles burning you know, we be burning, not concerned what nobody got to say. Bless his name. Jackie Ina Candle Club candles did come in. So we have a dream girl. This one is nice. Does it have the notes on the bottom? No, it's in the box. I threw the box away. Oh, man. And then we have Lover Boy. Denny likes Lover Boy, of course. There's Lover Boy on it. These are really, they smell really good. And then this is my first time having her room spray. I could have sworn the room sprays were a lot bigger, just judging by what it looked like on the site. But it was a gift for purchase, so who am I? You know, I can't complain. This does smell really, really good. I Do I have left on red? If I do, I haven't burned it yet, so I don't know what it smells like, but this smells really, really strong. It's just water and oil, and this is really good. I have my computer, this white case. I'm going to do work at soccer practice. Yes. <laughs> and, like, wowzers, okay? And here's today's to-do list. Ripping it off of my this thing have i showed it to you i i try to use these most days i don't use it every day but you know most days sort of a gratitude everything else so yeah we want to go do that i'm gonna go put some clothes on i don't even know what i'm wearing i just knew that i was gonna do makeup so i did that i don't have a cover for this and i'm just covering it with a coaster because you don't want all that soot on your ceiling if you have if you burn candles often and you do not cover your candle to diffuse it or di yeah to diffuse the candle you just blow it and let it go up and if you're not cutting your wick you'll see black soot right above the area that you burn your candles there's my alarm to leave home all right i want to get a smoothie and keep it light today but then i'm like I want to tear down some chicken wings. You saw the weather update. Hold on. Yo, I checked Bath & Body randomly yesterday and saw that they had many of their winter fragrances for really cheap. I got candles for $6.95. Now, their candy, winter candy apple, which I don't care. I'm not getting visitors in this house. That stuff smells good. Winter candy apple. We love the scent of menthol, mint and all that. Winter candy apple smells so good. It smells like peppermint. Amazing. So I bought... 15 of those for seven dollars come on now why not okay so yesterday was a lot because i use quickbooks for my accounting purposes this is business chat and you'll be interested if you are a small business owner if you are an entrepreneur so i use quickbooks and i migrated from quickbooks self-employed this is a program that they use i went from quickbooks self-employed to quickbooks online because last year my accountant needed a balance sheet and i could not provide one because quickbooks self-employed doesn't provide one this is just the name of the program 
and I love the interface of self-employed, but I can't use that any longer. So I migrated from self-employed to online, which is just another program in QuickBooks, and it is so different. It is so advanced. Now, thank God, I am very tech savvy, so I pick up on these things easily, but it still was just too much. And think about it, I'm a one-person, two-person team. Two-person team. So, but I'm the only creator. Like, I, I manage myself. My other person on my team is a video editor. So, with everything else, I'm the one doing it. It's just like, ugh. So, it's just too much to manage. So, when I did the migration, yo, I had to import all of my data from 2021 into this program. And then I have to go in and look at every single transaction, expenses, contractor payments, income, you name it, and categorize it, take away the ones that are that shouldn't be there if there are if there are duplicates fixed that I mean essentially bookkeeping for a whole year there's just no way I have too much to do and I cannot spend my time doing that so although I am savvy with this kind of stuff I just my I just I just could not I was on the phone two hours with a QuickBooks rep yesterday he was very nice Jay from Kentucky I just decided you know what why am I trying to do this it's a it's, it's, it's been it's enough two years in I need to hire a bookkeeper so I hired a bookkeeper and actually it, this is not Obviously, this is me. I pay for this. So you pay for QuickBooks monthly. And I hired a bookkeeper through QuickBooks. I have a meeting coming up with the accountant that they have paired me with. And the good thing is that every month they'll provide a profit and loss statement. So I see what I'm looking like per month. And then I also can communicate with them and then get a response, I believe, in two days. So that is good because this person going to go through and do all that stuff that I was going to have to do. I cannot. I don't have that time. So the first time, the cleanup. <laughs> it's called a cleanup honey where they come in and clean up on aisle three they gonna do the cleanup for me and that's five hundred dollars and then every month the bookkeeping services for the person to just tidy up the books just just you you categorize you fix it you you got questions you ask me just you do it and that is two hundred dollars a month and honest to god that's good for me because I cannot. So I'm so glad to now have a bookkeeper and that person does not file my taxes. I still issue the 1099 for my contractors. And speaking of, if you are an entrepreneur and you have workers that you have paid more than $600, to in a calendar year we have to issue these workers their contractors we have to issue them a 1099 which is the form that I get when I have to file my taxes from all the different brands that I work with all the different places I get affiliate payments from everyone that pays me gives me a 1099 and so because I pay contractors like a photographer a video editor I then also give those folks a 1099 for them to file their taxes because you get paid tax-free I get paid tax-free but then we need to pay our taxes right like that's just the law so I I issue the 1099s out but the bookkeeper will take care of the books. And then of course there's an accountant to do the actual taxes. But once the books are clean and clear, the accountant's job is easy. And of course with accounting, I do a spreadsheet where I put together all of my household and utilities and just different things because you know with a home office, you get to write off the office and you write off the square footage and you get to write off even your lawn maintenance outside. You get to write off a lot of different things. So the spreadsheet has all that information in it, like all the cable bills for the uh, for the year all the electric bills for the year all the whatever a percentage of that is deducted because my office is at home so I, I do that stuff and again I'm very tech savvy I'm very data I'm a data person I'm highly conscientious I'm, I'm type A I can do all that it's just the, all the bookkeeping was too much for me so they oh and also in QuickBooks I use it to track my mileage I have the app so it automatically tracks my mileage wherever I go and then I indicate whether it was a personal trip or a business trip and then what I was doing so picking up materials meeting with the client photo shoot whatever post office whatever so that I try my miles because the ta the accountant will either write off a portion of your car loan or your mileage whatever is gonna be whatever's gonna work best for you I like to follow tax people I follow lots of folks not only do I consume beauty and fashion lifestyle content I consume business related content too it, it, it will behoove you to do your research as an entrepreneur because for me I don't just go by what someone tells me I need to also look for myself so Carlton Dennis is someone I just stumbled upon this black 
CPA here on YouTube. His videos are very, very good. He be spitting knowledge, baby. Although I have an accountant, although I have a bookkeeper, I still want to know what is going on because I might have some questions. You can't just expect for your accountant or your bookkeeper to just do everything and then tell you what's going on. Yeah, they might, but then they might not. And what you're not going to do is get someone that they don't know what's going on. You'll get someone that knows what's going on, you know? So I just love that I've been acquiring knowledge on my own so that when I have my meeting with my accountant, I can say, oh, what about this? How about this? How about that? Because, for instance, I bought a new car last year and the car could be written off in my business. I believe it's ten thousand dollars per year of a write-off or I could write off my mileage so it just depends on what is gonna work best for me and what is looking like right now is writing off the car each year as a depreciated asset would work better for me so if I don't know that and I don't say to my accountant I bought a car because I when I bought the car I didn't use my business account to buy it that was a personal charge but because I I can't remember all the language. It can still be written off even though I used my personal money to buy it and not my business card or business credit card to buy it. It can still be written off. So knowing that, I'm like, when I go to my, my account meeting, what's good, what's good, what's good? You see what I'm saying? So yeah, but uh, the QuickBooks thing was a headache. If you use QuickBooks, comment and let me know. If you use something else, comment and let me know. But yo, I, I'm just so grateful because $200 a month, I rather... Just let me know what I'm looking like each month. I mean, I have an idea, but still, let me know what I'm looking like. And just, ugh, because I just cannot. I mean, I obviously will still have access to my stuff to go in and see what's going on. Again, I am not that kind of person to just throw it all the way to you and just say, tell me what I'm, no, 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 no. We discuss this. Don't be blind. Don't be a blind entrepreneur because you will be played. We've heard countless stories of folks getting played. Now, obviously, this person does not have access to my bank account, but they have access to see what the numbers look like. So, you know, but still, I just, I'm the kind of person that just needs to know what's going on. Call it control. I'm just, I'm just that person. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you all that because it's these little things that you're not going to get in everyone's vlog. You're going to get them going out, them buying a new Chanel, -y, them buying a new Louis, you know, the drinks and the outfits and the travel. But not, I haven't seen, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, I haven't seen, I haven't heard anyone talk about accounting. That is an influencer. I've only heard the CPAs who have who, who are influencers, accounting influencers, talk about it. So I wanted to share that because it's important. It's these little nuggets that if people share in their lifestyle content, it is helpful. Not only is it perhaps curious for you, even if this is not what you do, but it's so helpful if you are a content creator or an entrepreneur or both, because not every content creator is an entrepreneur. Hello. If you are both and you had a question, you didn't realize you had a question, now I just told you something that you may or may not know. There we go with a boom, 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 Praise Lord. I need communication. Tell me where's your location? Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't Yo, even... so I just finished filming this look right here Which I love actually And I'm so annoyed And I just shared this on stories that I, you know, I don't like to waste And I can't try everything right when I get it Because I'm busy So I used a lippy today from Oh, look at my flowers Did I show it to you? From Books My counter is not clean But that's my pompas from Books I love it It's my flower And it's no water It lasts for a very long time essentially I'm so annoyed because I, I put I pulled out this lippy that I have on today. It's this nude. Mm, it's more of a light, creamy, I don't know what you want to call it, okay? And it is nowhere to be found because this is an old product. It's not expired old, but it launched a long time ago, so there's no link for it. So there's that issue right there. And that is a constant issue because we get so much, we content creators get so much stuff. And unless you're just giving away the old stuff, I guess I could have given it away, but I be wanting to use this stuff myself. Like, what in the world? So, taking my medicine, acid reducer, and my allergy pill. I got up today at what time? I have water. 
Hang on. I got up today at 5 30. I'm doing something different with my calendar. I learned it on a video last night. So I changed my calendar from having so many different things on it to blocking off a certain time frame. And then in that time frame, putting in tasks. I never used the task function in Google Calendar, but I am now. And I like that because I like the satisfaction of checking something off and then seeing the line through it to indicate that I've finished it. If you're like me, you should use the task function. So I saw my tasks. And I haven't done all of them, but I love the digital calendar because I can just move something to tomorrow because my filming days are generally Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I filmed this one video. Ideally, I would have filmed two more videos, but I was lagging a little bit this morning. I know that I work best in the morning before I eat. Right now is my lunchtime on my calendar, but I only got one video done. I was lagging. I got up later than I needed to and then setting up and I, I showered. That was on my calendar. Like I have it set up to shower, get ready, all of that. But then I was looking at social and I know that I have to make sure that I'm not getting distracted being on social while I'm supposed to be working because that then delays things. And also too, when I first started working for myself, I would check my email all the time, all day, nonstop. And I've just, I've learned that that is not good for my productivity at all, because then I see something pressing, something troubling, whatever, and it stops me from doing what I'm doing right now. I call myself a, a psycho, what, what, what do I say? I say, I'm, I'd be multitasking like a maniac. I watched the video and honestly, I'm, I'm getting more and more convinced. It's going to be 72 today. Ooh, I'm getting more and more convinced that multitasking is really not serving me well. So I have to break free from that and learn how to just focus on one task. At a, I'm not going to do one at a time. I'm going to do two at a time. One is just too, one is too restrictive. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give Shorty two. This nice... She I think she speaks Portuguese. Her accent is a Portuguese accent. She has some good points. You know, she points were made. Very, very good points were made. But I'm just like, dang. I mean, I just... Because when I film, for instance, I'll have my laptop or my phone up. And then in between the parts that I'm not recording for the video, I'm watching something. Because that's just how I have to multitask. And also, it, it gets boring. Just sitting there like, the parts you don't see... I'm just sitting there. I don't want to lose my momentum, my energy. So I'm doing something in those periods, in that interim. Uh, and sometimes that doing something does like <laughs> set me back a little bit. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like that terrible. Whatever. Listen, it's not as bad as it could be, basically. You 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 with me now in the kitchen because I need to make my food and eat because on my calendar this right now is my lunch break <laughs> girl we self-employed okay you gotta give me some lunch break because otherwise then i'd be over here at four o'clock i haven't been eating yet you know what i'm saying so because i have a busy day today i have a busy day today nini has soccer practice I, I have a meeting at two with my bookkeeper it's just a lot of things okay so what do i need spray oil my pantry is not one of them pantries, honey. You ain't gonna be getting home edit over here, okay? We ain't even at that level with a pantry. Pantry is just pantry. It's just the pantry is just pantry. In. The pantry is my home business. Don't look at the pantry. You're not gonna find what you want. You're gonna find all kinds. Look at that. Not the garbage overflowing. Someone come take this garbage out. Someone please go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell not the the spray doesn't even work. What is this? No, oh, it's the garbage overflowing. It's the spray, not even spraying. It's everything. I have truffle oil. Should I put truffle oil in my eggs? Is that trifling? Oh, I should have put on my wings yesterday. I'm so annoyed. I love truffle. Okay, this one works. I'm so annoyed. Like, a lot going on. I wish I had a house manager. I want a house manager. I'm busy out here making moves. You have time to be... Not the modern day uh, woman, you know what I'm saying? Who has time to be doing all of this? It's a lot. You know, like, I can't be, I can't be, like, don't be asking me to do all of this, you know? <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Not, but for real, for real. Okay, so what I'm making, I can't even show you because I don't have time to be doing angles. I just don't right now because I have 38 minutes and I really and truly want to inhale my food and then film a video before my 
what am I doing? Because at one o'clock I have on my calendar to do, to check my email and do admin work because I have not responded to emails today. Because like I said, I'm not doing the check my email all day thing. No, it's distracting. Okay, so I'm putting steak seasoning in my eggs, okay? Do what you do in your house, in this house. We do flavor and egg is a protein. But I'll do some chicken seasoning. I'll do some steak seasoning. I don't care, it's seasoning. So I just put steak seasoning in my eggs, honey. Mm -hmm. I don't know what y'all be doing in your eggs. Comment, let me know. But don't, don't, don't get too, don't get too crazy. For real, because there's so many moving parts in the day. It's like, no wonder why the kitchen be looking real crazy sometimes. Because who has time to be washing dishes, fixing this, wiping this down during the day when work needs to go on? Things have to happen. I put some pepper and this, you know, the frozen pepper and onion mix from. The grocery store if you're into pick freshly pick from the ground i don't want to hear it okay we do frozen around here uh, for certain things because it just works all right praise the lord so i i just threw some of that inside my situation yo my air fryer the the insert is in this is in the sink i need to wash it from last night and i haven't done it yet and right now i don't have time to be doing dishes and i will do it later so <laughs> I put my sausage, my kielbasa, and if you don't do sausage, I hate all the disclaimers, but I just don't need you to be all like, uh, sausages, whatever, whatever, I don't care. Do what you do, I'm gonna do what I do. Praise the Lord. I put my sausage in the microwave. It's looking real trifling, but it's gonna have to do right now because, baby, we don't have time for the foolishness. The dishes need to be washed, that's what I'm saying. I need a house manager. Come up in here and do this. Keep this place tidy. Okay, at all times. It's not a mess. I don't live in no mess. Okay, that's the one thing I don't do. I don't do no huge mess. It's just little things and I'm just like, uh, what is going on right now? So here we go. I'm putting my eggs and my peppers here on the plate. I wish I had my solar bread, my low carb bread, but I ran out and the, the grocery store don't have any more, which is so strange. All right, and then I got my trifling looking sausage. It's looking so hurt. Put that right down the side. Then I got my guacamole. I could make some, but I don't have time. So lately I have been buying the mix. It has lime in it. It tastes really good. I just get that because I need to be, I need things to be easy. Put my guacamole right there. And then I did cut up really quickly my strawberries and my berries. <laughs> berries right there. Mm, this is my food. Don't even, don't even say too much about my sausage, okay? I don't want to hear it. I already told you she's hurting. I didn't have my air fryer, okay? Get some hot sauce on these eggs, too. We're doing keto. They're wondering, like, what is all this? Keto, honey. I'll put some cheese on this, baby. And then, hot sauce is a must. This is the favorite of mine, or... My favorite, Walmart maybe. I got my fruit. I can't sit down because my chair is in the living room where I was filming. And I'm leaving it there because I just might be going back to finish the video that I was telling you about. I have footage ready to give to my uh, video editor and then uh, I haven't uploaded it. Like what the heck, it's right here. Like what was I doing, I don't know. There's just so many moving parts. It's so easy to be like, oh, I did that already. It's like, no, I didn't. Uh -huh. So many moving parts, so many to-do lists. It's insane. Uploading now. Too many pictures. You know, when I do a look, I'll take <laughs> maybe a hundred pictures. I mean, I don't count. I just, something's in my eye. I just keep on taking them until I'm satisfied. So then there are pictures to go to go through. And when I take my pictures on my DSLR, I do not edit. I make sure because I take it and then you can see the picture in live view. So it's just like a photo studio when the photographer's taking your pictures and they have a big TV screen and they're looking at them because then that way I know if I need to lighten or or darken the picture to get the correct exposure. That is the, or if I need to warm it up or cool it down. So take that like right now for some reason you're looking at me I am cool. I'm not very warm. My skin isn't giving much orange, although in person it's more orange. And I could edit this, but it's a vlog, so I don't do that, the vlog. With my tutorial videos, I do, because I don't wanna look gray on the screen. I wanna look warm, like my natural skin, like my arm is more yellow. You're not seeing it right now. 
So when I shoot in live view, I can see what the image looks like and see if I need to lighten or darken, cool or warm it up. Make myself less orange or make myself a little more orange because I do use natural lighting. So right now there's no sun outside. It's over, what do you call it? overcast, cloudy. So I would have to add warmth to my video in order to look natural. Right now, because it's cloudy, I'm not adding warmth to the vlog. So I look neutral. You don't see the warmth in my skin. So that's what I'm trying to say. Other than that, I don't edit my images. I don't soften. I don't sharpen. I don't erase. I don't any of that. I used to do that years ago, years ago, like years ago, like more than five years ago or five years ago. Uh, uh, no, get a good camera, know what you're doing and you don't have to edit in post. Because once I do it in live view and I see that the color and the temperature is good, I literally download it from my SD card, put it on my phone or put it in later and I post it. I go right through. That's what makes it so much easier. I don't have time. I don't have time to be editing pictures. I'm busy. I have a little station set up here. Just a mini station. These are batteries for my actual DSLR camera. I have two of them and it... I love this dual charger, very important. You cannot just have one battery. Now I do have an adapter. I am gonna do an updated studio tour. It's just, I know it's gonna be a lot and I just haven't had the time to do it. But when I film in the, anywhere outside of my studio, I don't take the adapter because it's just a lot of work. I like to have duplicates, it's just too much. So I have the batteries here and I charge them. They last a while, but I always have one on charge just in case. And then I have maybe six batteries for my vlogging camera which is what I am on right now and I keep these here so that these are already charged so I took them out so that they're not just charging all day all year but when you plug them in you know that they are charged this one is oh this one's not so I'm plugging that and just leaving that in and I just leave them here so that my batteries are always ready never have an issue with a dead battery I'm not gonna be that person that to me is annoying when, when people are filming and they're like oh my battery died it's like yo get you get you some extra batteries <laughs> like actually right now my camera is it overheating what's it doing girl i know it's doing something turn it off and then put it back on but you do want to make sure you have your backups and this outlet thing is obviously really good the plugs and the usb sections but yeah we'll we'll do a tour we'll do a tour That's okay.